welcome back. This is gonna be a quick tip on how I freshen up my hair. I wash my hair every four days because that's the only way that I can keep my hair growing longer and healthier. I feel like if I wash it every other day or every three days, I mean, I feel like my hair gets damaged a lot faster than when I do it every four days. So I have very oily roots and I usually get a little bit of dandruff whenever it's the third day and I still have one more day to go. So this is the routine that I do in my third day to freshen up my hair to keep it looking cleaner. I can use it like this and as you can see the roots look really nice. I can also put it in a ponytail or not and actually the results are really nice. Whenever my hair it's dirty a lot of people say just put it in a bun and I put it in a bun but then when I do that then I have all these small hairs coming down looking curly and I don't like that look so that's why I do this routine basically what I use is a dry shampoo this is by the brand sexy hair and this is the line style sexy hair I got this through Octoly they sent this to me I tried it I compare it with the other dry shampoo that I was using by Batiste and I really enjoyed this one just because it gives me a lot more more shine I mean I used to you know I, I use different kind of dry shampoos but the one thing that I saw in common between those dry shampoos is that they will absorb the oils but they will make my hair look dull and not shiny at all and with this one I mean I don't know if you can tell through the camera yes I do have grays those are grays they're not highlights and uh, uh, but it's it I mean, it gives me that shine, like my hair, it's really clean. So I really have been enjoying this. And then at the same time, it feels like I just came out of the shower. I mean, it feels very manageable. It's not hard. It's not kind of, okay, I'll put it that way and it won't move throughout the day. No, it feels really, really clean. The other thing I like is that it smells really nice and that it gives me volume. So that's why I've been using this one for this routine. I also use this Revlon Ionic. I mean, if you have a regular uh, blow dryer, I mean, it will work. But this one, I feel like it gives me more volume whenever I do this. And then I use oil and this is by the Sange Paris. And you probably be wondering, hey, aren't you trying to remove your oils? Yes. But this one by Revlon usually leaves some kind of a static on my hair. So I take a few drops and every, you know, just go all over my hair and it won't make it look greasy. At least this one doesn't. So anyways, these are the three things that I use to freshen up my hair. So I'm going to share with you how I do it, the before and after, and maybe it will give you some ideas of things that you may want to try. So if you're interested in knowing how to do that, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna do like a before and after. As you can see, the first um, clip, it's more of a frizzy here. It does have a little bit of wave. It's not shiny at all, especially in the roots. It's very heavy. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of freshen up my style. So what I do, basically, the first part is divide my hair in half. Of course, the top part, it does have a lot more hair in it. Just so you know, I have very thick hair. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this uh, dry shampoo. I love it because once again, it helps my hair look shiny. But then when I use my blow dryer, that in this case is this one by Revlon, I feel like it makes my hair like it's just washed. It's very soft. It has movement, it has shine. I don't know if you can see it, but as soon as I start to blow dry, it it gets extra life now if I don't use the blow dryer um, it does look good but to freshen up the look and create or just you know just to leave my hair down and put on a ponytail whatever I'm going to do if I want it to be really fresh using the blow dryer it does make a world of a difference and as you can see it starts to create a little bit of volume so what I do basically is just roll my hair in the little uh, brush that this has and then I do it about four to five times in the bottom part of my 
my hair and now I'm applying a little bit of oil this is by the Sange Paris and as you can see it gives a, like an extra something to the hair it looks more put together it's not as frizzy it looks more shiny and it looks clean so that's what I do I just kind of spray it four to five inches away from the roots and I don't need to apply too much um, some people complain that dry shampoo gives them like a heavy sensation with this one I do not have the problem with that and then uh, on top of that you don't really need that much to have that clean look in your hair so once again I do that all over my hair I just put down a little bit more hair and as you can see I go twice or three times each uh, through each one of the strands or you know the little sections that I created now just so you know those sections are really big because I do it in three parts and I have a lot of hair and really long so if you do less hair just going through your hair once it would be more than enough and as you can see you start to see more and more shine and you start to see how my hair it has a lot more movement just if I just freshly washed my hair and it does make a lot of difference especially with the volume as you can see right there it's not 100% straight it does have more volume and then at the same time it has that clean look that that's exactly what I'm looking for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go once again through the parts that are really close to my face those are the parts that are usually you know they have more warmth and usually have little curls and that's the after so as you can see it does give me a lot of shine in the roots it has a lot of movement it is not heavy I just absolutely love this um, dry shampoo <laughs> just slipped my mind for just a second so you can see that's a before that the that's the after a lot more volume you know it looks clean it looks shiny and it freshened up my hair so I can go an extra day or two and until my next wash so as you can see if I want to wear it down I can totally do that and it looks very nice but then if I decided to put it on a ponytail or if I decide to braid my hair I'm just trying to show you how much movement my hair has and like and right now I'm just gonna put it on a ponytail since it does give me a lot more volume I feel like the ponytail looks much better than when my hair when my hair is dirty as you can see it looks really nice or I, I, I love the look that it gives me for a really high ponytail as well so if I decide that I don't want to wear a ponytail I can go back to a braid which is what I did for today no makeup look and a braid on the side and it's really comfortable but whatever you choose to wear your hair like when you freshen up I mean this is the best way to do it or how I do it and I really enjoy the results so thank you so much for watching click on the info box to see all the links to the products that I use and I will see you in my next video bye guys